Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Um, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits and leave the rest. Personal reading links are in the description box below and I am running a special. Hi everyone in the chat and welcome back. Okay Virgo, we're going to take a look at your messages here. You have Cupid's arrow. Beautiful. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And there might be a little hesitation as well here. Okay. So yeah, Virgo, love's always coming in, isn't it? Uh, imagine if you said yes to every offer that came in. Somebody's going to get struck by the uh, cherub's bow. Valentine's Day. Very interesting. Cute. Sweet. Have faith, Virgo keys on a ring. Okay, Virgo, looks like you're going to have plenty of options, decisions, um, unconventional string along for some of you, a one night stand, be very careful, depending on what you're looking for. Um, choose wisely, Virgo. Choose wisely in February. All right, let's see. I can't believe it's February already. And you've got sunglasses. Somebody's watching you, looking, stalking, Gaslighting, perception, focusing outward. Okay, so you definitely have some options coming in. You do have, it looks like people looking at you, Virgo, in February. People or a person in particular. Let's see. I want to take a look at you, Virgo, and see. Okay, look at you. You got the page of cups, all sweetness, like that melty cotton candy, melt in the mouth sweetness energy with you in February. <laughs> Virgo, looks like you're going to either be receiving very sweet text messages or giving them or both. All right, let me see, Virgo. For some of you, there is someone here sweet on you. Could be a Pisces. Um, all right, let's see what else. I'm going to take a look at your energy. Virgo, you look like you're just being very, I don't know, romantic, sweet, kind. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands. Wow, Virgo. There's definitely some. <laughs> I was really like, let me see if you could see this. I was really trying to focus on you guys as far as like what your energy is. And sometimes when I start doing the readings, they tend to like, I don't know, they just are like, no, nope, we're going to do something different. So yeah, Eight of Wands, lots of communication coming in here. Very quick. Good news coming in. Good news arrives. Some of you had a dry spell. I don't know. Valentine is the month. Valentine's the month of love in February. So I definitely feel like there's going to be some pretty heavy duty love energy coming in. You've got the high priestess and mostly Virgo. I feel like some of you are just in mysterious mode or secret like you're hiding. Maybe you're hiding. Um, oh, sorry. You're not putting yourself out there in February. It feels like you're just being very gentle and maybe sweet with communication not really doing too too much um just kind of sitting there and you're just like you know what um the egg doesn't chase the sperm <laughs> for the ladies and so you're just kind of like i'm just gonna sit here and read my book and um i'm just gonna attract that love energy to me i'm not gonna chase it so you're looking very mysterious and i do feel like there may be someone or somebody here who's kind of like where'd virgo go yeah virgo you've got your defenses up for some reason you're just standing your ground um i don't see you chasing anyone i can tell you that right now but you do uh, it's kind of like your energy is like back off <laughs> you might have to fight off quite a few suitors or a particular suitor in February. You're definitely going to get some type of love, sweet Cupid's arrows messages for sure. Okay, could be a Pisces. That's twice. Could be a fire sign. Uh, let me see what else is going on here. Wow, look at you. I can't believe these cards are coming up here. So you have the Seven of Cups, Virgo. You are, I don't know, kind of like in ghost mode. Somebody's looking for you, Virgo. Somebody is searching you. They are seeking you out like a heat-seeking missile. Watch out. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you ghosted or you've just disappeared um, or you're disappearing in the month of February and you're definitely going to be getting like some reach out for sure. Um, unexpected is what I feel just coming out of the blue things that were hidden before 
or um, here's the thing it feels like an energy of like external to you another person or people where it's kind of like nobody was saying anything or sharing their feelings or, or expressing anything towards you and if you have ghosted or if you are non-committal or you are just kind of not making yourself available um it feels like somebody's going to come in and like they're ser somebody searching for you. you're attracting you're, you're attracting love here justice is here this is completely in your favor um it seems like it's in your favor to do nothing it seems like it's in your favor to be still and not chase after um love and i know a lot of you have been doing that it's kind of your energy is like you're drawing you're like a magnet you're you're drawing a person or people to you in february all right let me see virgo what is virgo like what is oh my gosh i can't even believe this ten of cups and the two of pentacles yeah it's like Virgo's like, you know, I'm just going to weigh my options here um, for people that are interested or showing interest in me. I'm not going to rush into anything. It feels like, Virgo, you're kind of like, let them just show up. Let somebody just show up. Let them show me what they got. <laughs> it's like you're kind of like, all right, we've got first runner up and second runner up eventually. Which one is going to be my Virgo? <laughs> but it's like, I'm the CEO of the show, buddy you come interview with me and i'll let you know <laughs> so it's like you have the options you you can choose is what i hear um and i feel like you're going to be weighing your options as far as like who you want to be with um or it, you know the two of pentacles can be like a card of decision as well so you some of you're gonna have two choices definitely uh, or narrows something down to two choices who to have a long term, like who's going to fit, who's going to meet your needs. Yeah. So you're definitely going to, I don't know, what do you like put in the, are you on a dating site? Or are you putting yourself out there and you're just letting the offers come in? Um, some of you are on some of those dating apps where uh, some of you guys are on those dating apps where it, it looks like the female has to reach out. I heard about that. I don't know what it's called, but um where I kind of feel like you, you guys are going to be getting a lot of reach outs or just even like just going through your day to day, you'll notice in February, there's going, you're generating, you're magnetizing um, people to you. So you'll hear a lot of compliments that are just kind of like out of the blue, like, whoa, where'd that come from? Like, I didn't see that coming. Um, and I feel like, damn, that's the third time now we've got Pisces who is this Pisces so if uh, also Libra so I feel like yeah these things are just going to come out like one Virgo is going to be feel feel like to you like once in a blue moon and it's going to be a blue moon where it's it's like oh what's going on picking up the signs people are being very complimentary towards you in um, online and in real life you're doing something differently some of you um, have been working on your physique as well some of you have just changed your attitude your behavior it's more like well whatever will be will be for me and what it won't won't and you're just kind of like devil may care attitude okay some of you are definitely getting a reconciliation their past is coming back yeah around valentine's day there might be uh, maybe around february 6th 7th or the the following yeah like that week of valentine's day or the, those two weeks a lot of kindness um Maybe some gifts, maybe get flowers or you'll give flowers or candy or um, definitely uh, somebody giving you a gift or sending you something, maybe a card, maybe like one of those cute little Valentine's cards. Some of you are going to get those little Valentine's hearts that have the phrases on them, like you're cute, uh, be mine. Somebody might hand one of those to, well, no, somebody will hand one of those to one of you, okay, or vice versa. All right, gosh, Virgo, look at you. All right, Taurus energy, you are at, by the way, this, this soulmate potential. Um, listen, I see you like connecting with someone in a committed relationship where there's marriage in the future. I do, or long-term commitment, a very spiritual connection as well. Could be a teacher or a professor I'm hearing. Okay, Virgo, listen, 
You have the Knight of Pentacles. So in the position of you, Virgo, I really feel like you, you are like, I'm patient. Your energy is, I'm patient. I can wait. I'm not taking anything less than what is um, offered to me, like a solid offer, right? Because you're going to have, you. Uh, I see a lot of options coming to you. I see you having a lot of options. So you're going to be able to pick and choose. I mean, I keep saying the same thing. All right, just show me Virgo's energy as they are on their own. Show me Virgo's energy right now as Virgo is on their own. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely struggling a little bit, but you're maintaining, you're being true to yourself no matter what. This struggle um, you're going through at this time, you're being true to self. You are being clear-headed. You have your eye on the prize. You're seeking victory in your own life. Despite the struggle, Virgo, it's like you are you don't have the time or the energy to really initiate as much right now um, because maybe you're going through some financial struggles or um, struggling with your faith or things like that. But I feel like, you know, you have faith that um, with that big old sword right there that you're going to be able to cut through all the bull, everything that's you never hear they, they say the air is so thick you can cut it with a knife. I feel like you've got your knife and you're like going to cut through this <laughs> air so you're not dependent on someone. Yeah, and look at that. That's like hope. You, you still have your eye on the horizon. Like you're not giving up. I don't feel like you're giving up on love. Um, you're actually waiting for love to come in which is great you're not out there like setting a course you you put yourself out there in some way or fashion i feel like you're doing this now and whatever you know see if your ships come in so virgo i like your energy for february i really do you're a warrior this is your energy virgo you have been through listen you've been to the circus and you've seen the puppet show you have been in the ring and you have some battle scars but you are i feel like now repositioning and re-strategizing your plan of action going forward in your love life okay which really just means to me that you don't you're not actually forcing anything through now right you it seems like you have a lot of contentment and happiness grounding yourself um spiritually doing things by the book you're walking the straight and narrow line which is very very difficult to do most people don't most people want to walk that wide path and just wherever the road bouncing from left to right you're like nope you're keeping straight and you're manifesting definitely you've got the magic touch here, Virgo so your energy is so good like I feel like you are very focused you're possibly being extremely creative at this time and just it's like you understand that when you maintain um, a positive uh, mindset in that whenever there's a negative one you counteract it with a positive one and um, it just looks like you understand the process of manifestation I feel like you understand that you're, you know, you're laying all your cards out on the table. I don't feel like you're trying to manifest a person because I think that you know that that would be very manipulative. I f and so you might as well just do some spell work because that's like not cool. I feel like you're just manifesting new beginnings, manifesting opportunities to happen for you in your life. Okay, let me see. Okay. Yep. Out with the old in with the new here virgo and some of you are definitely processing out some old energy transitioning all right let me see what the future holds here for virgo and i'm not going to take this reading real long because my battery just popped up and said low battery so i don't want it to die while we're doing this reading so the future looks amazing virgo you've got victory all eyes on you definitely support definitely um others cheering you on um this is like good news this is success the future looks amazing for you i definitely feel um this year is going to be really really great if you guys want to go back I'll, I'll put um I, I did a yearly prediction for 2023 did i do the first three months i can't remember <laughs> but um yeah i'll link it below if you want to go over and or if you want to go in the description box, you'll be able to get that yearly prediction. I think it's yearly, pretty sure, but it might just be the first three months, which is fine. All right, Virgo, so the outcome looks amazing for you. I mean, 
you know what, Virgo, you have been through enough heartache and stress that anyone could possibly go through in their life. You have had it. You have had it. I mean, when it rained, it poured for you. And it looks to me like that setback was, is your comeback in 2023. I really feel like that. If there's cheating or um, infidelity or arguments or separation or divorce, that really like your brain waves changed, Virgo. I don't know what happened, but I just feel like you've picked yourself up from the bottom of wherever you were and you just climbed right back up to the top and that's leading you here like that you're gonna get i feel like the recognition vindication validation that you need from universe that you're on the right path okay because you've been like you've been <laughs> down to the bottom you have been down to the deep blue sea. You have seen that it's dark down there and you have swam yourself back up to the top. And I feel like you're doing that in 2023. This feels like it's turning in. Look, new year. Definitely. You've turned a page. You're turning a page. That's why all these options are coming. It feels like you're doing something different here. And it feels like you're not fighting. A lot of you have just come to this place where... You know, we always say, oh, you got to forgive, you got to forgive. And that's true. And that's mostly for you. But the first step is not just acknowledgement of where you are, but acceptance. Once you accept something, no matter what the situation was or whatever was going on, once you get to a place of like, okay, that's what it was. That's what I dealt with. All right. Wasn't great. Didn't feel amazing. Um, it's hard to accept the disappointments, but I feel like when you're able to get yourself to that place where like, all right, uh, I'm taking an L on this one, but I'm going to come back stronger next time, then that is what propels you forward. If you're, if you're not accepting something, you're still fighting it and that drains your energy, right? Um, it's much harder to ho hold on to the edge of a cliff and fight your way back up than it is to just let go. Just letting go is scary. Because accepting means, uh-oh, I might lose. But that might be an ego thing. I feel like, Virgo, your comeback and all of these beautiful love opportunities and all the things you've been hoping for have all to do with you accepting your situation and getting on with your life, getting on with your business, right? And then it comes to you. And then it all comes to you. You've definitely got somebody here who's watching you, though. Definitely looking at you. I mean, you're looking very, very attractive to someone. And like I said, if you've disappeared or you've just gone in a different direction, it feels like there is. And it's interesting because you know what? There's no, yeah, there's no court cards here. So I, I was throwing out some signs. So I can't really tell you who it is. But I can tell you that they might be wearing sunglasses or they're like kind of peeking at you behind. They're trying not to be seen. <laughs> they're trying not to be seen. All right, calling in your soulmate. That's the work that you're doing, Virgo, and it's beautiful. You're definitely, okay, some of you, all right, so without even having to say a sign, somebody does have a reconciliation. Your soulmate might be calling you, okay? So you you might be reconnecting with a soulmate, Virgo. I'm just going to put that out there in um, February. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a comeback around. Um Maybe you call them or you called them and you haven't heard anything and now they're calling you. They're calling you back and something starts all over. You're not chasing. That's what happens. I always like to say, like, when your dog comes up to you with a ball in its mouth, if you try to get the ball from the dog, the dog runs. And then you try to get it again, the dog runs. But when you stay still and don't chase the dog, the dog comes over and drops that ball right at your feet. And you take that how you will. Okay. Um, now, I don't know what the deal is with your particular person I don't know if that's something that you want to re-engage yourself in that's like completely up to you you got to take it from there but I'm just the messenger here and I'm definitely feeling an energy of like somebody is trying to come back in let me see if I can give you or that somebody new is coming let me see if I can give you some you, you guys all know you want the man bun let me see if I can give you features or descriptions of who this person might be okay we've got someone here who has short hair okay we also have someone here who has curly hair and oh somebody's got tattoos all right plus size again i love me a dad bod 
<laughs> I love plus size men. I think they're so like <laughs> squishy. <laughs> they're so great. All right. And we've got someone with long hair. All this hair stuff going on. Somebody might change their hair a lot. They color a lot, cut a lot. Hey, there you go. Someone's got the man bun or a beard. <laughs> These are just too cute. Um, okay, I saw hazel eyes. I see hazel green eyes. And I also see muscular. Okay, so yeah, you guys, you got to kind of take that as it resonates there. All right, let me get... Um, I just want to get some charms. Yeah, the battery's just about ready to die, so let's not kill the reading. I know they've been so quick lately, and I'm so sorry. I will get you a long one, I promise. All right, Virgo. All right, beautiful little sea turtle. Oh my gosh, so cute. Maybe you like sea turtles, or you... Uh, I can't get this, too. Maybe you like sea turtles, or you collect sea turtles, or... Um, it's just something to do with a turtle, okay? So that might resonate for you in some way. Something to do with a turtle. Turtles live a long time. This relationship or this connection thing is going to be a very long time. And now you also have, which is interesting, a pink whale. How cute. Okay. Somebody's having a little baby girl. Definitely a little baby girl. I'm just hearing that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. This is so crazy. I love when I give a message and then like, because it just comes to me and then, oh my gosh, look, a pink stork. <laughs> and that was just sitting there. So yeah, there's definitely a baby on the way or someone's gonna find out that they're pregnant. And you know, if that's good news to you, then awesome, it might not be, um, but when is a baby ever not good news? I mean, it's just a blessing. Okay, one other thing. I feel like this is a message for Persephone, who's always here in my chat. Um, it's a broom, so I feel like Persephone, um, this is just a message for her. <laughs> that Persephone needs, like, Persephone cleans all the time, right? So she needs to... Um, and get the broom out because you missed a spot i feel like that's the message or she needs to stop cleaning so much but also you guys um the broom does represent there's an old saying about jumping the broom i can't remember what it's about but i don't i know it was a movie i can't remember exactly what it's about but there's if you look it up or maybe you guys know but there's something here about jump jumping the broom they gave me that phrase but i i i don't want to say what it is because i might be wrong um, it could have something to do with like getting to know someone that leading to marriage. Um, yeah. Okay. Battery's just about out. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me with your next reading. And um, sorry, it was so short, but yep. You know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Don't forget, click on the link in the description box below to get a February special reading heavily discounted for this month. All right, you guys love you. See you.